Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 16th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about ng-source. <laughs> okay then guys, so I've decided that what I want to do is place a little thumbnail image before each ninja name right here in the list. Now to do that I'm going to have to go into the data and edit it so that AngularJS knows where to find the image for each ninja. Now. To do that, we're going to have to pass in through here a path to each ninja, right? And you'll see that I've gone ahead and created an image folder right here in the content. And within there, I've got four images, one for each ninja. So I'm going to create this property on each ninja object so that we can pass through the path to that ninja, okay? So that in the content folder, and then it's image, and then this first one is yoshi.png. Okay, so we'll just grab that dude now and paste it down below right here and then this one is crystal and then the next one is Ryu and then finally is Sean okay so now we have the path to each image associated with each ninja now we just need to output this image in the view so let's save this and go back to the index and I want to output it just before the ninja name, which is that H3. And I'm going to write an image tag. And within the source attribute, we want to output this data right here, the path to the image, which is on the thumb property. Okay. So all we need to write is ninja dot thumb. Okay. Because remember, each time we output a ninja, we're using this ninja object by saying ninja in ninjas. Okay. So ninja.thumb needs to be in an expression like that and then hopefully this should work but before we save I just want to add a couple of styles because I've not already done this in the uh, the CSS right there the only thing I want to do is add a margin first of all which is minus 12 at the top and it's going to be 10 pixels on the right and 0 0 bottom and left I also want to float this to the left and give it a width of about 50 pixels okay so let's save that and uh, take a look. And there we go, guys. There are our thumbnails. Pretty sweet, right? And uh, you might think nothing is actually wrong with this. And you're right until we go into the console and we see this error right here. Fail to load. So we're getting a 404 error when the browser goes out and tries to retrieve this image. Now, what the hell is that image? Well, these things right here, this little bit of code, represent these curly braces here. And ninja thumb is the name of this property right here that we're trying to inject into the expression. So the browser is actually trying to load this image. It thinks this right here is the source of the image. And it's going out to try and find that image before Angular gets a chance to inject this property right here dynamically. Okay, so we don't want that. We don't want errors in our code. So let's try and get rid of that. And the way we do it is by using the directive ng source. Okay. So that directive will then wait until Angular injects this path dynamically and then it will go out and try and find the image. So it's not going to try and find this ninja.thumb anywhere uh, because Angular waits until that is replaced with the string, okay, which we specify right here. So when we save this now and view it in a browser, you'll see that the console no longer throws that error. So that is why we use ng source, guys. Now, I want to do one more thing on this image tag, and that is use the ng show directive, okay? Because we only want this to show up when we have an image associated with it. Remember, when we add a new image here, we've not given it an image field, so each image below this won't have an image associated with it. So we don't want this image to be inserted if we don't have an image associated with it. So let's do the ng show equals, and then we'll just set it to ninja dot thumb. All right. So now what will happen is it will look for this property on the object that we add. And if it's available, if it has that property, then it will show the image. If it doesn't have that property, this will return as false and it won't show that image. So that will work correctly now. So let's save. Let's just make sure in the console we don't have any errors, which I don't think we will. And then we'll go ahead and add in a new ninja. We'll call it David, which is just an awesome name for a ninja. Uh, we'll give it a, a red belt, and the hourly rate is going to be 10. 
So we'll add that to the list. We get no errors here whatsoever and everything still looks okay. All right, so that my friends is NG Source. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to uh, throw a comment down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and all that jazz and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.